Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis. This channel is recommended for adult and teen fans of LEGO. If you are younger than the age of 13, you're welcome to watch, but first, get your parents' permission. Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis again. Today we're taking a look at LEGO Star Wars set number 75306. This is the Imperial Probe Droid, or Viper Droid. This is part of the 18 Plus series from LEGO, so it is designed for the collector market rather than as a plaything. This is one of my favorite parts of Empire Strikes Back, this scene on Hoth with these guys. I like that mechanical squawking that they do. I just think it's pretty cool. Uh, on the back side of the box, you get a little bit better idea of the scale of the thing. There's a thing here that says that it's about 10 and a half inches high in total and about nine inches wide. And then along the bottom, there are some photos of that scene that I referenced. Inside the box, we have six numbered bags, two small bags, instruction manual, and sticker sheet. Let's get building. This is interesting. This is a new part as far as I know. It looks like the binocular piece, but it has kind of a anti-stud and a stud on the top. So, just thought that was interesting. All right, here it is, set 75306. This is the Viper Probe Droid, um, <clears throat> also known as the Probot. This is what Kenner called it back in the day anyway. This is uh, part of the not quite UCS series, but at a very different scale. This is considerably smaller than it would be if it was in scale with the BB-8 and new R2-D2 and all that. This in uh, universe is about seven feet tall, something like that. Um, what does it say down here? Two meters, I think, 1.8 meters. So yeah, it's a relatively tall thing, um, but in reality this is about ten and a half inches from the tip of the antenna. So when I was a kid I had a Kenner toy called the Turret and Probot playset, and it included uh, you know three and three quarter inch scale version of this along with uh, one of the Hoth turrets and a piece of snowy terrain and I really enjoyed that toy as a kid and uh, it helped bring to life the, the Hoth battle um, and I had that before I had an AT-AT or any of the other, even before I had the Snowspeeder, I think. There were a few other Kenner playsets for Hoth, but that's the one that I remember the most. And for those that are interested, this is the plaque. This one's done up a little bit differently because it has the snow and ice collecting on the edges, which is kind of a fun little detail. Uh, you have some snow and rocks along the bottom here, and... Uh, the same goes for the back. Uh, this will also give us another look at the back of the droid. We have the different claw arms and pinchers and that sort of thing. It's really nicely done. Um, the head can rotate and you've got all kinds of sensors and uh, lights and what have you. You have a little bit of sticker detail here and then opposite right there. And then on the actual body of the droid. We have one sticker there and another one there. So this was a, a pretty decent build. The one complaint that I have is that it's a, a little bit wobbly um, and <laughs> it's fragile. <laughs> it's not a play model at all. This is definitely something for display only. Um, the display stand, the clear uh, bricks, those are uh, two by two round trans clear bricks with a, a long axle, Technic axle in there, and then a Technic brick down below. And it just rests down there. There's nothing that attaches to it. It's just a, uh, a hole for the stand to rest in. And uh, it works out nicely. As, again, it's a, a nice display piece, but not necessarily something to play with. So this set retails for $70 here in the U.S., which for 683 pieces isn't too bad price-to-part ratio-wise, um, but I don't know if this really feels like $70 worth of enjoyment. Um, the build was pretty good. The display value is pretty good, so maybe I'm just asking a little too much of this thing. 
Um, it was one of my favorite uh, as a kid, as I said, um, and I like it quite a bit, but $70 seems like a lot. Uh, it also was a little odd to me that they didn't have a minifigure scale version on display like most of the others of uh, this type have, but uh, that's forgivable. Um, yeah, overall, I think it's pretty good. Um, if you can find it on sale, all the better. But uh, yeah, this is the Imperial Probe Droid or Viper Droid. And uh, yeah, this has been Christian with Brick Life Crisis. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, may the Force be with you. Bye for now.